Hey guys, Dr. Cam here with Ground Overhead PT coming back to you with your daily body armor. We're going to continue the discussion about the hip this morning and talk about how to get rid of that pinchy hip pain that you have during your deep squats, your lunges, and, uh, and just get you back to the gym where you're enjoying your workouts and don't have that fear of having that pain or, or wondering what it is. Okay, so a uh, video I made recently was addressing some of the uh, the surrounding structures that would support the hip. Again, not all of the time do we need to directly uh, go ahead and, and just hammer away at exercises at the front of the hip. They probably need to be a part of your comprehensive program, uh, but I wanted to show you a couple of exercises that I really like that uh, can address some of the other areas that would support the hip, build that strength up, and ultimately make this thing work better as a unit. Okay, so we talked a little bit about that sideline um, uh, side plank clamshell hold to, to work the outside of the hip here. Uh, today I'm going to give you guys the Copenhagen plank, which is going to work more of these adductors. Big muscle on the inside here of the hip and uh, certainly an important muscle when it comes to uh, getting out of that deep hole, uh, deep position or what we call the hole position in the squat. Okay, so all we need here, body weight and a bench and uh, recommend you know something like a, a softer top to the bench if you're gonna start with the, uh, the knee on, which is where I would recommend beginning, okay? It's a pretty challenging exercise here. Uh, so we'll start with the easier, uh, easier way to perform it, and then we will kind of gradually show you uh, ways to make it more difficult, okay? So first things first, I'm gonna get down into a side plank position, all right? We're gonna bring our knee up to uh this bench here okay we want that supported here we're going to get up into this position that side plank position from here we are driving this knee down into the into the bench here and lifting our hip up okay bottom leg i want you to lift that one up as well let's go ahead and work uh slightly that that uh, bottom adductor we're going to maintain a nice neutral position here at the spine okay and we're just going to hold this position Okay, maybe you start with 20 seconds, maybe you start with 30 seconds. Find what you can hold, and we'll hold that position. It should not feel sketchy, should not feel very painful for you. Okay, it should be a you know challenging but uh, comfortable position. Okay, so if you build up some some capacity here in this uh, in this position, one way you could progress this is just by adding repetitions. Right, coming down, coming back up. Another way to progress this would now be to go down, uh, down to the shin, all right? So instead of having the, the entire knee supported by the bench, now we're going to go down, we're going to move to the shin, come back up, and again, hold that position. The last progression of this would just be to then have all the way out to the foot, okay? Same position with the rest of the body. Now we've got a much longer moment arm here making this exercise more challenging okay so start with the static holds build some capacity build some strength there right uh, again if you start with 20 seconds uh, do that a few times throughout the week then challenge yourself to 30 seconds then 40 seconds if you can get there okay ultimately you're going to need to progress that and make it more challenging to continue to build that strength over time but i love the copenhagen plank it's a great exercise to build some capacity at that hip and again help um, strengthen the supporting structures where you know again you might be having some some hip pain right here in the front that pinchiness and you have some exercises to um, to start to build strength there but these other supporting areas are important to uh, to target as well uh, if you guys have questions about the Copenhagen plank reach out to us and if you haven't already subscribe and like our page I'll see you next time for your daily body armor.